Nous atteindrons Orly 1, 2, 3 dans une minute. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my latest trip to Lake Como in Italy. So I visited Lake Como in mid-July and we stayed for a total of 3 nights and 4 days. After landing in the Milan airport, we collected our rental car and headed over to Berledo where we were going to be staying. And we had dinner in this nice little Italian restaurant in the city. The next morning, we headed out to discover Varena as it was the city that was the closest to us. The lake looks so beautiful and we had such a nice walk in the morning just taking in the sceneries. And of course, visiting Lake Como means checking out one of your many beautiful villas. And today we were going to be visiting Villa Monastero. Because this is such a popular activity, be sure to book your tickets online in advance to guarantee your entrance to the villas that you want to see. Honestly, I really enjoyed the interior and the exterior of this villa and would highly recommend it if you're visiting Varena. For lunch, we decided to stop at Al Prato that we stumbled upon and we started off with the goat cheese as appetizers and of course an aperol. And then we had the octopus and the burrata. This was by far my favorite dining experience throughout the trip so I highly recommend it. And of course for desserts, we got some gelato. Walking under the sun got me feeling a little tired so obviously I had to stop by and try some pastries in the local bakery. After munching about and walking around, we decided to head back to Berledo to enjoy the sunset view from our Airbnb. The next day, we decided to go to Bellagio with the ferry to have that full Lake Como experience. When we arrived, we made our first coffee stop before walking around and discovering Bellagio. Personally, I found Bellagio to be more vibrant and bigger compared to Varena, so there were really a lot of things to see and discover. And then it was time for lunch and this time I got my favorite dish, carbonara. Once we were done with lunch, we just sat down by the pier to take in the view and enjoy the water. Oh, and of course, how could I forget gelato for dessert? Because the ferry boats aren't very frequent, we decided to catch an early one back to Varena. Honestly, the views were just so mesmerizing. The day was also extremely hot, which meant that it was an excellent excuse to get another gelato, even if I just had one. The next day, it started to drizzle a bit, so we decided to have a chill breakfast at Varena Cafe. I'm having an Italian croissant called Cornetto, which is basically croissant stuffed with sweet fillings. And then we kind of just got more food to seek shelter from the rain. Once the rain cleared up, we walked around Varena a little bit more before heading back to Milan to catch our flight. And that's the end! Ciao!